what is unique about this aircraft, and it's that uh, nobody has ever operated an unmanned system um, of you know a tactical aircraft size on an aircraft carrier. Um, and so there are very unique constraints. And I will also add that uh, so this thing doesn't have tails. Um, and so uh, there's the uh, unique technology of how you get something that's uh, that, that, that could be uh, uh, you know, translated into a low observable aircraft in the future. The uniqueness is, so this has folding wings, it has a very beefy structure to come aboard the aircraft, it has to be very precise in its landing um, uh, within several feet. Um, so all of those, actually those uh, challenges about getting aboard an aircraft carrier have driven this design. So once you start flying unmanned vehicles, it's not just about the air vehicle itself. It's an integrated system between the aircraft carrier, the data links, um, the, the computer, the mission operator station, and then connected to this air vehicle. Uh, what we did is took existing hardware systems. We added our software variants to create that digital messaging, and we sent that up to the, uh, to the unmanned aircraft. Uh, across the front here are the actual air traffic control consoles that would be used on an aircraft carrier. Uh, the controllers will issue messages to the UAS uh, to get it to sequence in for final. And then the communication that comes back are shown on their displays. And then across the front, you'll see the display boards that, continue, that update the status of all the aircraft as they come in for recovery, uh, which would, takes that message and goes back. The, the new pieces that we did have to bring in, a data link and a uh, precision GPS system that allows that tight navigation uh, to get the UAS onto the, the carrier of the flight deck. So the other part that we did was we had to take all of the current operating procedures that a manned aircraft does uh, to get into the pattern, to sequence in, uh, to come in and land, and we took those, we broke them into their component steps, and we turned them into a usable set of diagrams that then the unmanned aircraft can do. So when we tell it to execute a command, a voice command that we give to a pilot, then the X-47 knows how to do that and will execute that string of procedures uh, as if it was a manned aircraft. What we're trying to do is make sure that the people that are doing the jobs on the aircraft carrier can do those jobs just like they do today. The only difference is instead of talking over a radio to a pilot, they're issuing commands via a network to an unmanned air system.